Hello you beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? It's like it's been ages since we spoke. I had a couple of weeks off because I don't know, I'm just not feeling it myself. I don't know. I don't know what's going on and I'm just going with the flow. I thought we'd just try some makeup that I've bought recently, bought a while ago or just had in my collection that I haven't used for ages. Got a little box full of things. We'll just see where the look goes see what I want to try. It's like I'm really low down. <laughs> so let's do a little bit of skin prep. So I'm just going to whack on some of my Miracle Serum. As all know, if you don't know, get to know. I absolutely love this, especially, especially for makeup prep. It's so good. I need a wee and I've literally just started filming. I'll show you some of the stuff that we might be trying out today whilst I let that sink in. Um, I do have the Fenty moisturiser, which I'm going to put on afterwards. I actually got a scent that. Not by Fenty, by like, I think it was community scene i've got like a bronzer from juvia's place i've got some gen c products that i very kindly got sent as well i've got some stuff that i bought this is the elf camo cc cream um yeah cc cream <laughs> I, don't know what I was gonna say i was gonna say foundation but it's not got that to try and also the elf contour stick and the power grip primer with the full percent niacinamide a pink one I've got a Rare Beauty blush, some She Glam stuff to try as well, like highlight it and then I've got like another lip product. It just depends how my look turns out, which lip product I'm going to go for. And then for eyeshadow, I have the Smoky palette from Beauty Bay, which just looks like this, which my nails definitely do not match. <laughs> my nails are like so summery and spring and then this is like smoky, dark. <laughs> oh my god, I literally, I think I bought this when it first came out. So excited to try it and see what that's like. Okay, so I think we'll start with my eyes first. I'll put a little bit of this moisturiser on just to sink in. This is the Fenty Skin Moisturiser. I think it's so cool how it like is a refillable one. Like, that's so clever. I'm not going to be able to get this back in now. <laughs> no, I did it. Hey, clever me. I think this is my second time using this. It smells really nice. So I'm going to use a little bit of the P. Louise base. I've actually like depotted mine in here. I can't remember why I did that. If it was leaking or something. I'm just going to be taking a Peaches and Cream PC18, which I'm going to remember I used to use these all the time. Oh my god, that's way too much. But I'm going to pop this. That's way, way, way too much. I love my eyes. I literally haven't done makeup for so long. So God knows how this is going to go. <laughs> and I'm going to use a sponge. Blend it out and it'll also soak up anything that's just a bit too much. So I think I'm going to start with, oh this is the Lab 2 Just Blending In brush, just looks like this. And I think I'm going to start with, I think Clouds, this one here, the lighter one. I'll try and go like lighter to darker and see how that goes. I've also set the primer because I've just found my eyeshadow is just not eyeshadowing recently. And I don't know if that's because I'm just like using the wet primer and I'm just not like doing eyeshadow enough to like remember how the fuck I had to do it. <laughs> I don't know why I swore that. So I'm just going to start with this lighter one and blend it out. And then obviously because it's already set, it just makes it so much easier. So now that we've got that little base down, I don't know why my brain's just like, it went really inappropriate. And it was like, face down, ass up, that's the way I really like to fuck. I don't know why my brain went to that. I'm really sorry if you've got kids in use this today because clearly I'm in a swearing mood. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm going to go in with a Doll Beauty DB9 brush and then I'm going to go in with this shade next to it, which is Mountain. And I'm going to go right in the crease with this one. And then I'm going to go in with the first one and just re-blend. I'm just going in with that Mountain shade just a little bit more, just to kind of intensify it a little bit, kind of wing it out a bit. And then I'm going to go have my tea and then come back. I don't know what cooking, but it smells nice. This is a very common debate in like mine and Alex's Patreon um, group chats. Do you say tea for like your evening meal or do you say dinner? Because obviously I'm northern, so we say tea. But Alex is southern, so she says dinner. Dinner is like lunch to me. Like, oh, we're going to have for dinner. I'm going to have a sandwich. That's my dinner. Do you know what I mean? Whereas tea is like your evening meal. And not a cup of tea, but everyone's like, oh my god, I have the cup of tea. No, that's different. It's a different type of tea. <laughs> Taking this random Ted Baker fluffy brush, I think I'm going to go in for like a bit of a deeper shade now. 
I'm gonna go in with shadow which is this one here and I'm gonna kind of pack this in the outer corner oh, it's actually not as pigmented as I thought it was gonna be might be as well because I've got I'd like to set my base I'm gonna kind of tap that a little bit out and then I'm gonna go in with that middle shade brush and no like extra product just literally just using whatever's on the brush and use that to kind of blend it out a little bit then go in with the larger fluffy brush and use that to blend that all through and then i want to go in with a shim shim so i think i'll go in because there's so many gorgeous ones i'm gonna go with this one which is the shade frost oh my god that is like literal butter i'm gonna put this on my lid just like so cute the feel of this product is like so soft like you can just feel as soon as you put your finger in the eyeshadow you can feel that it's good quality and then i'm going to take a little bit of nightclub which is this one just next to it i'm just going to place that here just to kind of blend that lighter shimmer into a darker one then i'm going to go with a revolution just like a little fluffy brush like this and i'm going to go in with this one here. I don't really want to go in with the black. I think I want to go in with this one. This is Tuxedo. And then I'm going to pack this in the outer corner just to add a little bit more depth to it. And I'll go back through with the first two shades on the brush. And then obviously, again, just not adding any extra product and then blending it all together. Oh my god, this actually looks so cute! So cute. I'm going to go in with that white matte shade, the snow one. I'm going to use that as like my brow bone in, in a corner highlight. So nice to use a matte one instead of using shimmer all the time. Like that brightens so much. Yeah, I'm actually really happy with how that turned out. Let's go on to base. I'm going to start with the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. This one is the one that has the 4% niacinamide in it. I think I tried it briefly the other day. I just wasn't sure how I felt about the texture of it. I'm going to put it in my T-zone see what i think it's very like it like immediately goes sticky it's not like one where you could rub it and like have a little bit of like movement with it like it just immediately goes sticky it's weird i don't know if i like it or not like everyone raves about it although i've seen so many like i can't move it anymore like it's literally just stays i don't know it's weird i prefer ones where like you have a bit of moisturizer with them like you can move them around a bit and then they go sticky as opposed to like just literally moving it once and that's it, it's stuck, it's, that's it <laughs> kind of thing. So yeah, I'm not too sure how I feel about it and I feel like it's quite thick as well. I don't know, I don't know. It's just not, not me vibe. Another thing that I have to try is the Camo CC Cream Concealer. I bought this ages ago. This was from Boots. I think I got it for like reduced to couple quid and I was like do you know I want to try it I got the shade fair 140 okay I had to squeeze it to make sure to like get all the air out because like half of the bottle has gone down now but I had to squeeze it to like actually make it pump out but the colour actually looks really nice and it's like a nice I forgot I had the glitter on my finger quite a nice like thickness to it I said I wanted two pumps but yeah I definitely could have just done with one pump this looks like it could be promising why does it look so yellow? It looks like the Revolution, do you know the yellow face base where it's like a colour correcting one? <laughs> it doesn't really reminds me of that. But I am really yellow, so it should be fine. And then I'm just going to use just a flat brush to apply this. This is actually from the Game of Thrones Revolution collection. And let's see what this bad boy is like. I don't think this is the right shade for me. Oh my god, if you could see this in person. I look like I'm meant to be a yellow ghost. And it's not even like, I don't understand. Yeah, this, I don't know. It doesn't seem to stick to my nose either. I just, I don't, I don't think this shade is meant for me. I might see if Alex wants it cause it is way too light for me. So I feel like I can't do a fair review on that at all because it's just too light. And I feel like it just kind of takes away from whether it's actually any good or not. Cause in some places it does look really nice. It doesn't really stick to my nose, which is weird because I literally put that even primer on it. Can you see how it's like just not sticking to my nose at all? Where, by the way, I don't even have, like, where's all this texture came from? I feel like I can't give a fair review on this because it's not my shade. 
So I don't know whether they're like, the fact that it's too light it makes it look worse. I don't know. But I'll see if Alex wants to try it because that is definitely not my shade and I'm going to have to take the whole thing off. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so I'm just going to whack on this one. I actually used this for ages. This is Flower Beauty. I don't even know if this even exists anymore. But this is the Light Illusion Luminous Makeup Nude Skin Feel. And I got this in the shade... I don't know, porcelain. But yeah, I can't really judge the e.l.f. one because obviously I've not really given it a chance when it's not my shade. But I won't be repurchasing in my shade, that's a for sure. See, that's so much cuter. I'm going to put a tiny little bit on just to add a little bit more coverage. But I don't really need it, I'm not going to lie. Like, that's gone on so well on my nose as well compared to that e.l.f. one that I just put on. And... I didn't bother putting this back on because I was just worried in case that might have had an impact on the base. So I just took that off, obviously, when I took the foundation off. Because I'm just conscious that it is, I don't know what time it is, 25 past 8. And I haven't even, like, finished my base yet. <laughs> Next up, I hope this one doesn't let me down. This is the Elf Halo Glow Beauty Wand. This is the contour one. I actually do have other ones. Where are them? Yeah, I do have the blush and highlight stick as well. I'll try the highlighter and the contour one today, but because I really want to try my Rare Beauty one, because I haven't tried that and I've had Rare Beauty one stuff, one stuff, the Rare Beauty stuff for ages. So yeah, starting with the contour, like I literally haven't even squeezed this or anything. I love like how small this is, especially for contour. I've got like a little tiny face as well, so this is going to be... Oh, I didn't squeeze out enough. This is going to be good. Oh, well, that blends so easily. I'm using a sponge to blend it instead of a brush just to change it up a little bit. Oh my god, I definitely could have went darker with this. Like, it's so buildable. And I feel like if you use a brush, you'd get even more coverage from it. But oh my god, a sponge just makes that so easy to blend out. What shade did I actually get? I got light slash medium. Put a bit more. I'm going to actually, like, wipe it on. <laughs> I feel like that's going to be a lot. Let me swipe, swipe, swipe. Oh my god, yeah, I feel like I'm plying loads when I swipe. I'll use a sponge, <laughs> just in case it is a bit too much. Oh my god, yeah, I really like this. So easy to blend, literally can't go wrong. I'm definitely going to start using a brush for my nose contour, because that was so much easier than trying to use a brush. I don't know if I said a brush or a sponge then, but I'm going to start using my sponge for it. Then I'm going to try for the first time. For first time ever, the Rare Beauty blush in the shade Encourage. Now I've seen all of the TikTok that you need the tiniest little dot with this, so that's all I'm gonna do. <laughs> See how we get on. I might actually use the other end of my sponge. Oh my god, okay, yeah, you definitely only need a little bit. I'm just kind of like pinching my sponge to try and like make it a bit more in one spot. Oh my god, that's so cute. And then we'll try the highlighter. I'll just literally use the same sponge for this. I got the shade Champagne in the highlighter. And then I'm going to tap this just along the top. I haven't put too much on because I'm a bit funny with liquid highlighter. I've got it dry so quickly. I would literally say either apply it on the back of your hands, then dab it on, or apply and then have your sponge ready to go because you can see like exactly where... I swiped it on, more, probably even more so this side, you can see like, the line. It doesn't blend, you have to be super quick with it. But that's so cute. It doesn't feel like ridiculously sticky. Obviously, I would always set it with a powder anyway. But yeah, really like them. Go on, Elf. So I've got this little brow gel to try. This is from the brand Gen C, and they actually sent me a package. And I kept the little card because I wanted to tell you about it because I thought this is like so cute. So it says it's always clean, high performance colour, vegan and cruelty free, sustainable, recyclable packaging, ethical, inclusive business practices, and it never has any fragrances, doesn't have any nanoparticles or I think what that word is, that. <laughs> I just thought it was really cute and I loved how they did like a little description on the back of it. I mean, if you want to pause and read, feel free to. But I just thought that was really cute. I put that in me recycling. And yeah, let's try this brow. Oh, okay, she's dark. What shade is this? Top one. Ah, I mean, she has some 
pigment to her and I actually like that with my brow gels like look how much better that looks this one looks compared to this one wow okay okay I always like to start at the arch as well because I feel like then it puts the most pigment on the area that I'm the most sparse and then I can put that through my tail oh I've just realized I've just put bronzer on and we were meant to be trying this one I'll put that in my drawer to try another time <laughs> completely forgot about that I wonder if I've got a powder blush I can whack on I don't really have I have this one which is like a radiant floy thing let's try this this is in peach dew this is what it looks like it's just said that it's a glowy powder but obviously it's gonna be way too dark for me to use as a highlight so let's see what it's like as a blusher take a little bit I'm scared that's actually really cute I will say because I like to powder on my face the quid highlighter from elf I feel like it just kind of you can see it a little bit but it kind of just gets covered up because obviously I have to powder my full face so the reason why I just don't really like bother with liquid highlighters because I literally cover them up so what's the point but if you like liquid highlighters I definitely would recommend the elf one it was really really nice so this is what the shimmery blush powdery thing looks like that's really cute I like that this is the she glam moon side highlighter this is what it looks like this looks so cute i did a huge like sheen order i get a lot of my clothes from work from there because i just really really struggle to find clothes that fit me especially when i've got bigger boobs and they have such a variety on sheen oh my god look at this and then taking a morphe m501 brush taking in a little bit of that and let's see oh you can see straight away how gorgeous that is I will forever be in like the intense highlighter gang I just can't I can't just put a little bit of highlighter on it just feels so wrong what shade did I get that in celestial glaze would highly recommend let's try a mascara from that Gen Z brand as well this is just what the wand looks like so I've just curled my lashes and this brush feels huge <laughs> Ooh, okay even though the brush is huge like you've got so much play time with this like it doesn't just put a big clump of formula on your lashes this is very nice for like long separated lashes but if you are more of like a volume gal i don't really think this will be your cup of tea oh actually it does build up a little bit of volume i actually really like that i would say the more that you apply on your top lashes the heavier the formula gets and it starts to drop your lashes a little bit so i feel like there's a very fine balance as with every mascara though like that's just how mascaras are i'm not even kidding i absolutely love this mascara can you see it it looks so good oh i'm obsessed obsessed i'm so glad that i tried that thank you so much for sending me that because i'm honestly buzzing with that i think we are basically done i think we just need to do lips i forgot i actually have one of their lipsticks as well in this tub don't know whether to try that i do really i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna try it i really want to try i'm not gonna try the sheen one either because i can try that anytime i really want to try this and i just don't know if this is going to go with this look at all so it comes with this is the packaging so stinking cute i featured this in the haul like 10 billion years ago and it comes with a gloss and a lipstick like i'm sorry this is just my childhood and my adult life brought together like, i just don't know if that's going to be ah uh, yeah that's going to be too pink <laughs> yeah i can't use her in this video Sorry, my love, you've not been chosen for this one either. That's like so bright, I'm gonna have to find a way of making that workable. Okay, let's try this little duo that I got from She Glam. So, this is the Soft 90s Glam Lip Liner and Lip Duo set. This is in the shade Moody Tar. So, it comes with a lip liner, which is swatched here. Then, it comes with, it says a lip gloss, but I don't know if that's actually meant to be like a liquid lipstick. And then, it also says it comes with a super slick clear gloss but then the darker one's called you have a kiss lip gloss i don't know we'll just try it and see what it looks like so starting with the lip liner i'm actually in the frame 
So I've just kind of shot it on <laughs> like this for now. And then let's go in with that thing that says it's a gloss, but I really don't think it's a gloss. In the middle. They have so many different shades of this, by the way. That is 100% not a gloss that's starting to dry down, so it's definitely more of like a matte liquid lipstick. I'm just going back in with a lip liner. Why is that so cute? Please ignore this bit. I've got like a really dry bit on my lip because I've not been very well recently. I've been ill for like the last, I think about a week and a half. And I like <laughs> couldn't breathe out my nose. So it was like breathing out my mouth and my lips are so ridiculously dry now. But I'm going to go in with the gloss. I love that it's tinted because I won't feel as bad for getting it all like icky inside. Oh my God. That's like really hard to spread <laughs> I don't understand why it's almost like just you don't get much formula like that was a bit better oh my god no but that actually is so cute definitely not my best application of <laughs> a lip um combo but Lizzie if you're watching this definitely definitely recommend getting them if you haven't got them already so let me give you a very quick roundup because I know this will be quite a long video anyway Smoky palette, I absolutely love this. Like it's turned out so nice. I love the end look. When I went down earlier and I hadn't even finished my look, even Blake Sam was like, I love your eyes, and I was like, thanks, my hun. So yeah, would oh, I'd always recommend Beauty Bay palettes anyway, because they're just always amazing. But the quality is just always on par. Obviously, I love this little lip combination. I will definitely be getting more of them to try out as well. Another recommendation from She Glam is the Moonside Highlighter. This is absolutely stunning. I love how this looks. And I honestly think that would probably make a really nice, let me just have a little swatch. Yeah, I feel like that would make like a really nice little shadow on your lid as well. Oh, beautiful. Again, Lizzie, if you're watching, you'd buy that. This is so nice. Do I think it's like, oh my God, go out and buy rare beauty blushes? Like they're really nice, but only if you can afford it. Don't be killing yourself off for it. I think I got this in a gift set with some other stuff because I also have some little mini ones of other shades. I've got one called Truth, I've got one called Joy and then I Encourage and I got these in little mini gift sets. Other than the one here, I'm sure I've got Happy, yeah. Happy in a little one. I believe they've just brought out little versions of all their blushes. I've also got a little mini of the highlighter again that I got in a gift set so I'll definitely be trying some more shades because I've see I've got them in my drawer ready to go. I like this. I personally wouldn't say like run out of the house, go buy it. It's really like cute as like a blusher. I would definitely use it again, but it wouldn't be one that I'd like repurchase if I ran out. This, I'm just, I don't know how I feel about it. I just don't. This though, love this, this brow gel. I'll definitely be getting my use out of that. This highlighter is good if you're somebody who likes liquid highlighters. Like I said, it's not really something that I enjoy. I don't like the feeling of stickiness. I just bought this because I was buying the other two, like the contour and the blush. So I just really want to try it. Really, really nice if you really like liquid blushes. I um, liquid highlighters, sorry. This is gorgeous. Dab it if you just want a little bit. Swipe it if you want a bit more. Go straight in my basket. Mascara, 10 out of 10. This mascara is absolutely stunning. Stunning. Highly recommend. And then, is that everything that I've tried? I've been very good this this time and actually put things away as I've been trying stuff. Oh, and I've seen, I did try this. And that's going to be going to Alex if she wants it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if there's any certain things that you want me to test next. I do have like drawers full of stuff. I've got like collection makeup. I've got a W7 drawer. I've got Studio by Superdrug. I've got like a miscellaneous drawer, which is a bit like what I've done in this video. It's like just random stuff, whether it's things I bought, whether it's PR, whatever. Um, I have more PR stuff to try. Yeah, I've got Beauty Crop that I've had for ages, probably like a year or something to try. If there's anything that's come out from Red that you want me to review, please let me know. But yeah, I'm obsessed with how this has turned out. I'll hopefully see you in my next video. I upload every Sunday and I'm going to try to start uploading a bit more on a Wednesday, but it'll always be every Sunday for sure. And let me go sort my hair out. <laughs> Love you so much. Thank you so much. Bye.